Hello everyone. All right, we're back with Mercy Watson, Something Wonky This Way Comes. Remember he and Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson and Stella and Frank and Baby and Eugenia were all going to the movie theater. So let's see what happens in chapter three. Police officer Tamilio had the night off. Officer Tamilio was at the movie drive-in. He was with his wife, Mrs. Officer Tamilio. They were in the front row. Ooh, a drive-in movie. Have you ever been to a drive-in movie? That sounds fun. It is nice to have a night off from the relentless duties of keeping the world safe from crime, Officer Tamilio asked himself. It is nice, he answered himself. It is very nice. Mrs. Officer Tamilio smiled. Mrs. Officer Tamilio patted Officer Tamilio's arm. Animal Control Officer Francine Paulette was at the movie drive-in too. Animal Control Officer Francine Paulette was with Alfred Tompkins. Alfred Tompkins and Francine Paulette were on a date. A date. Do you think that there will be actual pigs in this movie, said Francine Paulette? I'm not certain, said Alfred. As an animal control officer, said Francine Paulette, I have found pigs to be the wildest clients of all. Do you remember when she tried to capture Mercy? Absolutely. Although I did catch a pig once, at least I think I caught a pig. Fascinating, said Alfred, simply fascinating. He put his arm around Francine Paulette. Chapter four. Leroy Ninker was a small man with a big dream. Leroy Ninker wanted to become a cowboy. But for now, Leroy was working at the movie drive-in concession stand. Leroy Ninker was selling bottomless buckets of popcorn. yippee yi yo he shouted. There's nothing, Fox. That's right. It's real butter, folks. Top quality, bottomless, and out of this world. yippee yi yo Does that sound familiar to any of you? Look who it is. Leroy Ninker. Do you remember when he tried to rob the Watson's house? In between pouring butter and popping popcorn, Leroy Ninker worked on his lasso skills. He twirled the lasso, he made the lasso whistle, he lassoed a bottomless bucket, he lassoed a stool. yippee yi yo saying Leroy, there's nothing fox about my skills with the lasso. I think we can read one more chapter tonight, chapter five. The Watson convertible pulled up to the movie ticket window. Help you, said the ticket seller, Beatrice. We are here to see when pigs fly, said Mr. Watson. Beatrice took her glasses off. She put her glasses back on. She blinked. She's thinking, what in the world do I see in that car? Um, part of me and all, said Beatrice, but I'm seeing things kind of wonky. Is that a pig in the back seat of your vehicle? Her name is Mercy, said Mr. Watson. She is our darling, our dear, said Mrs. Watson. I'm not sure pigs are allowed in the movie theater, said Beatrice. Actually, said Mr. Watson, she is a pig wonder. Do you allow pig wonders? Hmm. Yes, said Mrs. Watson. Beatrice blinked. Are they gonna let Mercy in? Do you think, are they gonna let her into the drive-in movie theater? Oh, I don't think there are any rules against picky wonder, she said. Excellent, said Mr. Watson. Good evening to you then. Beatrice blinked again. She adjusted her glasses. Wonky, said Beatrice. Wonky in the extreme. Hmm. We'll see what happens in chapter six. Ooh, make a prediction. It looks like Mercy is starting to smell something in the air. Good night, boys and girls.